European allies have expressed a great deal of consternation in recent days uh, due to the ongoing debate in Congress about whether the U.S. will continue to fund Ukraine. Uh, recent comments by former President Trump over the weekend about uh, what he would do to NATO and, and messaging to Putin and Russia what he would allow them to do to NATO. Why isn't Deputy Defense Secretary Kath Hicks or somebody of a senior stature going to Brussels and participating in these uh, meetings? Yeah, again, first of all, uh, our, our support for Ukraine uh, continues to be uh, ironclad, as you heard you know, me highlight you're going to have uh, nearly 50 countries come together as they have on a, almost a monthly basis to talk about how we support Ukraine. Uh, and, and as I hi also highlighted is the Secretary's intent uh, to participate in the virtual UDCG. Again, we'll keep you updated on that front. Uh, and Dr. Wallander, as you know, has been at the, at the center of uh, working for the Department of Defense to represent the United States uh, and our support for the UDCG. Uh, so she is uh, well experienced, well equipped uh, to represent the secretary should she need to do that. Uh, and she, as I mentioned, will also be in Brussels uh, to support there both virtually but also support the ambassador as she represents the secretary at the NATO Defense Ministerial. Idris? Just to follow up on that, uh, obviously the, the, the Celeste and, and Julie Smith are well qualified, but um, Deputy Secretary Hicks would be a representation of how seriously uh, the administration takes Ukraine and its needs. So does the secretary not have confidence in his deputy to send her um, while she's uh, performing his duties? Yeah, I, I reject that notion. The secretary, of course, has full confidence in the deputy secretary of defense. He uh, has transferred his functions and duties to her uh, as evidence of that. A and again, anyone who questions our commitment to Ukraine uh, just needs to look at the facts in terms of the amount of support, the amount of assistance we have provided and continue to provide Ukraine and will continue to provide going forward. Just to follow up, um, how long was the secretary unconscious or under general anesthesia for since yesterday? Is it throughout? Is it a couple of hours here and there? Do you have a sense of that? Uh, Idris, at this time I don't have anything to provide beyond uh, what I've relayed to you, but again, we'll continue to keep you updated as new information comes in. David?